Plate Motion Unit, Lesson 2.3, Explaining Plate-Mantle Interactions. Activity 3, Creating Physical Models of Plate Motion. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. We're going to use physical models to help us understand plate motion and plate-mantle interactions at plate boundaries. Students, refer to the plate motion model reference and digital resources for photos of the models you will create in this activity. Hold your hands flat in front of you with palms facing down and place them side by side so your index fingers are touching. Imagine my hands are plates moving apart like a divergent plate boundary. Can you describe what happens in the space between them? Students, move your hands apart to demonstrate plates moving apart. Notice there is a large growing gap between your hands, which would be filled with material that comes up from the mantle as the plates move away from each other at this boundary. Recognize this is one shortcoming of this model. The model does not show what happens to the plates and mantle at this boundary very accurately. Models are use, most useful when they accurately represent the natural world. Today, we'll use towels to create more accurate models of what happens at plate boundaries and earth, based on what we learned about plate boundaries from the article. You'll work in groups to create two physical models one of a convergent plate boundary and another of a divergent plate boundary. You'll use this information in your plate boundary comparison chart to make a model that shows what happens at each boundary as best you can. You might not be able to model everything that happens at each type of plate boundary with the materials provided to you. Before you create your physical models, let's review what the parts of the model represent on Earth. Students, notice the parts of the model. The towels represent the plates, the gap between the chairs represents the plate boundary. The area under the chairs represents the mantle. The chairs are being used to hold up the model and do not rep represent anything on Earth. Now, let's review the model setup and discuss how to use it. Unfold two towels and place one on the seat of each chair on either side of the small gap between the chairs that represents the plate boundary. How might you use the model to show how the plates represented by the towels, move at the boundary. Remember, the area under the chairs represents the mantle. How might you use the materials to model how the plates interact with the mantle? Students, try to figure out how to best represent plate-mantle interactions using these materials. Let's get ready to create our models. First, you will move into groups of four. Then, you'll fill in the table that shows what each part of the model represents. Creating Physical Models of Plate Motion. Students, fill in the table before you begin creating your models. Use your models. Set up the plates. Two students will be responsible for setting up and moving the plates. Each partner will be responsible for one plate. One student will be responsible for reading the discussion questions. One student will use the plate boundary comparison chart as a reference to help the group create and refine the model of each type of plate boundary. Here's what your student screen looks like for this part of the lesson. Let's discuss your model making experience. How did you model plate motion and plate mantle interactions at convergent and divergent plate boundaries? What features of the plate boundaries were accurately represented in your models? What features were not accurately represented? Think about the strengths and weaknesses of the models. You might respond, each model accurately showed how the plates move relative to each other. One model showed how the plate sinks into the mantle at convergent plate boundaries. The other, other model showed how mantle material fills in the gap between the plates at a divergent plate boundary. The mantle was the area under the chairs, not soft, solid rock like it is in the natural world. We couldn't accurately model how rock from the mantle is added to the plates at divergent plate boundaries, or how one plate sinks into the mantle at convergent plate boundaries because the mantle was not made of soft, solid rock in the models. There were no landforms, volcanoes, or earthquakes. Use evidence from the article and your models to answer the investigation question. Students, answer the investigation question, what happens to the plates and the mantle at the plate boundaries? End of activity. Be sure to complete all your student work in Amplify for this activity before moving on. End of lesson.